And good evening now. We begin tonight here in Columbia as motorists are facing a traffic nightmare on Divine Street. It's been five days now since a water main break caused the issue, but that problem remains. So what's the holdup here and who's responsible? News 19's Eleanor Tabone is on your side with the answers. Every day, thousands of motorists drive along this portion of Divine Street, but that commute is being slowed down due to a water main break. We had a water main break, an eight inch pipe last week. The result, traffic chaos. It impacted a, a big area there. The traffic issues have affected area merchants. We talked with a few today who didn't want to go on camera. They say business is down. We know that's a well-traveled area. The city of Columbia is responsible for the repairs. Robert Yannity from Columbia Water saying, Contractors have been awarded the bid with repairs starting today. Right now, it's just uh, repairing the road. Uh uh, wherever there was damage to the road itself from the water, we've got to go in, uh, take that out and fix the uh, the asphalt and the, uh, the, uh, the sub dirt underneath it. Cold temperatures predicted this can delay work. Asphalt doesn't uh, really go down as well in colder temperatures. The South Carolina Department of Transportation is pitching in to help. SCDOT has just provided them with cones to help with traffic control. As you can see, the six lanes are now down to two, with drivers having to merge on Divine Street until they reach Reach the lights at Rosewood Drive. The city say the repairs could cost upwards of $140,000 and it's not going to be a quick fix. Columbia Police Department reported a collision last Thursday evening but cannot say whether it's the direct result of the water main break. In Columbia, Eleanor Tabone, News 19 WLTX. From a water main break.